Hey everybody, I've decided to do a mixed breakdown video of a song I co-wrote, Now That You're Gone. It's part of a project we call The Bone Scar Project. It's me, Michael Belanger, and Jason Kordimich. Well, let's play a little bit. I don't know where to set my gaze I don't know where to set my aim Should I call on you and start asking for help? Or should I beg you to stop? Great. Now let's move to higher energy portion of the song, just for contrast. Everything remains the same, so what does that say? Now that you're gone, I can move on. I'm letting go now of this empty vow. I could never curse you, hurt you, cause you were not there And I refuse to beg or borrow or live in despair Great. And then there's a solo. And then the song winds down. So let's take a look at some of the individual elements. We'll so all the drums. And as you can see, I don't have a ton of plugins. Um, Partly because we use Superior Drummer for the drums. So you can take a look at that. Which is super nice because you get to customize the kit. Um, there's tons of kits to pick from. And super cool editor for each of the hits. Now looking at the individual drums... So the kick, play the kick. And I only have two things on the kick. I have the Slate Virtual Mix Rack on the deep strip setting. And we'll A, B it, off, back on. You can just, it gives it a bit more heft. And the other thing I have on is the transient designer. And what this does is it gives it a little bit more attack than came with the virtual drum. So let's turn it off. See, it's a, it's a bit poofier. Now, with it on, the transient designer on, get more of the hit transient comes through and we did a similar thing with the snare although I also added the exciter this makes it breathe more see without the transient designer with it. Very little EQ. Now 
hi hat, we just basically tamed it with a deesser and added an exciter. That's the main component here. And a tiny bit of reverb to make it sound a little bit less out of place. Just kind of fit it into the mix a little bit more. Let's find a tom roll. You can double click your groove pattern. It's floor toms, I believe, from my memory. Scroll through and take a look. There's a couple. We'll go to bar 50 and take a listen. And those sounded great on their own, so no need for any sweetening there. And on the overhead, we just basically had a de -er to tame the high end a bit. So here is it without. And it just tames it just a tiny bit. Great. We'll take a look at the bass. So we have the... This is the amped uh, recording of the amp. That's the raw recording. And we have Neutron for some compression and a bit of EQ to give it some heft in about 150. And a little bit of presence at about 1300 and I do it I do everything to my ears I try not to use the the graph to EQ too much and a transient designer which basically um, adds some sustain to the low end and a little bit more attack on the high end which is kind of cool this Neutron is really good if you haven't tried it. Um, and I also have the limiter on, which helps a lot. And then we have a chorus, so it can play it. Sounds like a lot in the mix, and without the mix while it's soloed. But it's not. And on the amped bass, I have a little bit of reverb. Um, basically, that was when it was in context. Um, I just wanted it to blend. Fade if going astray, but everything remains the same. So just makes it feel part of the band. And now, the really cool part. The same bass track just copied over and similar EQ compression transient designer why not a little bit a little bit of reverb and the cool stuff overdrive And I believe this is an SVT emulation. Yeah, we'll do two bass tracks together. Great. Now the guitars, there are several parts. There's an acoustic guitar 
Well, let's solo that. Go to the beginning. And I believe it comes in about there. Now it's just one part. And I bust it over to a reverb and pan the reverb to the other side. And then it's just bust here so I can turn them up and down as one. Cool. So just a little reverb on that. Not much EQ, just a little high pass, a little compression. And a de-esser to tame some of the squeakers. As I was playing, we got a little bit of squeaky noise. And then we have the main rhythm guitar. Again, it's just like the acoustic. It's one part. And to get the stereo spread, let's go solo. There we go. So the guitar is dead in the middle, and then I put a Dr. MS midside. I just used the mono to stereo preset. They found that this plugin is really cool, but you can get out of hand really, really, really fast with it. Um, tweaking these knobs, it gets out of hand really fast. So I always start with a preset. Spread sound. Now we'll go to the solo, the lead. And I'm using the CLA guitar to provide a little stereo spread, a slap back, <clears throat> and just a little EQ adjustments. I'll do it with it. Really adds a lot. Okay. Last but not least at all, maybe the most important, even, what we've got is Jason sang several parts. So he did a main vocal and then sang it two more times on the main rhythm, and we panned those left and right. So about 25% left, 25% right. And you'll notice no inserts. Wow. All we have is a send to a doubling effect and an echo. So let's solo those. I don't know where to set my gaze. The main vocal. I don't know where to set my aim. And his double tracks, which he sang. And this is um, just a, a bus for the background, so I could turn them up and down independently or automate them, which I didn't have to do. And then we have some additional high and low vocals, which are we'll solo those. Na 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 na. na. More of those, and then we have these low vocals. Now that you're gone. Okay, now let's put the all the vocals in here. I can move on. 
I'm letting go now. Now, it sounds loud, but it's those background vocals, but they're really not. I can move on. I'm letting go now. Of this empty vow. So let's take a look at the two effects that we bust to. We have... I think this is the Waves Double Two. And I just used a preset and then adjusted it. I can move on. I'm letting go now. Of this empty vow. So we'll mute it and we'll hear it without it. I can move on. I'm letting go now. And I don't have it on very much, but just a little bit, and it adds a lot. And then, echo, we all know what echo is. I can move on. Very subtle. I'm letting go now. Oh. This empty vow. I could never curse you. And that's that. Now on my buses, let's go to the drums. Now I use the vibe strip from Slate and remove the EQs. And it just gives it a lot more punch. Let me take it out. And back in. Huge improvement. Like night and day leaving that on. And a little bit of tape. This one's pretty subtle. I debated taking it out. It doesn't change too much, but I believe I'm perceiving an improvement when I leave it on. And now we have an imager, which I think is the biggest effect I have on the drums overall. The biggest change. So let's do it with it. Nice big stereo spread. Super nice. You can even adjust the stereo wise. You'll see that I don't have it on very high, and these are, it just gives it a nice big drum sound without overdoing it. Let's take a look at the bass. And <laughs> this was a dramatic, probably the most dramatic EQ I have left in here. Cleans it up a little bit, makes room for a kick and the guitars, but still retain its character. Now we'll look at the guitar bus. And in here, uh, same kind of thing, um, a lot of EQ. Uh, this was definitely done by ear and really just to give it a nice full sound. And there was a little top end I had to tame, a little bit of you know, low cut, but not too much, and a compressor. But I disabled all the other modules because this is all. The most important bands are this third band here, yeah, about five, six hundred. Uh, it's pretty wide, and then I've got a cut, uh, one fifty, to make room for the bass and the limiter, just to help things out in a compressor, which isn't doing a ton, just helps a little bit. And then on the vocals, same kind of deal, except I'm not using the EQ, but I am using the saturation. 
uh, a little bit of compression uh, one and two, which came from a preset, and they sounded good, so I left it. So let's play it. I can move on. I'm letting go now. Empty vowel. I could never. Oh, yeah, in the limiter. But I think it sounds better with it, but it's pretty subtle. And now for the icing on the cake, we have the slate. FGX compressor. I can move on. I'm letting go now. Of this empty vow. I could never curse you, curse you, cause you are not. And you'll notice it gives it a little bit of glue. Uh, I use the ozone EQ and when you do the advanced, you can put the plug in separate so you don't have to use the whole set, which is really for mastering, in my opinion. And you can turn on mid-side mode. So what I like to do is cut a little bit above 1K in this case, and it basically pushes the guitars just a little bit out to the side. And then on the side, I have a really slight high pass, but not much. Just took a little bit of the low end out of the out out of the sides and together that gives you a nice stereo spread and it gives you a good punch in the middle but he didn't overdo it uh, so let's try listening to that I can move on. I'm letting go now of this empty vow. I could never so I'm going to exaggerate it. I'm going to pull this down and you'll pay attention to the center and you'll feel that the kick and the bass are more present. Um, it takes out too much of the rest of the mix with the vocals and the guitar. Um, so I'm going to put it back here after. But um, let's take a listen. I can move on. I'm letting go now. Of this empty vow. I could never curse you, hurt you, cause you were not there. And I refuse to beg or borrow or live in despair. A bit muddier. Now that you're gone, I can. And that's a good compromise. And now, as Steve Jobs would say, I have one more thing. Uh, if you look at the clips, you'll notice they're chopped up like crazy. That's to adjust the volume for individual parts of the song for the individual instrument parts. So, bass tapered off there, lifted up here. Same thing with the guitar, fading down, fading down. And on the vocals, they are really chopped up. So you can take a phrase, bring it down to where it should be or up and the like. But now, probably the most fun part of a mix, the volume and effects automation so you can build up the energy of the song as you go along great well if you got this far through the mix breakdown i appreciate it if you have any advice like hey dummy you're using you know eq too much over there or you really could benefit from a compressor here or I hate how you did the echo and the reverb on the vocals you know I, all feedbacks appreciated thanks so much cheers